our fourth system in the review is the Hyder system. Hyder ranked very highly in the ND filter, 10 stop ND filter tests. Um, so we know they can produce good glass filters. Although the graduated filters in this case weren't as color accurate as some, they were still more than accurate enough, I would say. You'd have to look very closely to be able to see any color cast. Let's start off with the adapter. Now, I've got to say it comes in a lovely little leather zip case and the lower interior. Um, the filter itself is a lovely bit of injection molded plastic. Um, it's got replaceable filter slots, the filter adapter. It's a nice size. We have a, uh, a red pull knob to put the filters system on. That's nice and positive. Not quite as easy as the breakthrough system to latch on, but not many filter systems are. Uh, and the polarizer system is a drop-in, similar to the H and Y, using a slightly different orientation tiny wheel on the top, which may cause problems. We'll come back to that later. Um, so let's have a look at putting the graduated filter in. The graduated filters are uh, strengthened. These are the red diamond. They have a uh, another range, the basic range, which I don't believe are toughened. Uh, it doesn't say what type of toughened glass they are. I, I presume they are just a um, standard toughened glass. Let's let's have a dig into that in the article. Uh, okay, inserting. Now, one of the things I mentioned in, in the breakthrough is the fact it had really th thick filter slots and it was dead easy to align the filters in. Um, I don't know if you can see on here, the filter slots are actually quite um, thin um, and the resistance starts quite near the top. Now, mostly it's the, the lack of depth in the filter slots, but it makes it a little bit harder to insert. Not a major issue. Uh, once it's in, they are right, but this is one of the sticky filters. So I'm putting pressure on it, slowly increasing pressure. When it finally gives, it jumps quite a lot. Is it a major issue? Would you use a pinch like that? Yes, probably. So not a huge issue. I just liked the breakthrough system, which was very, very smooth in comparison. Once the graduated filter is in place, I can remove the polarizing filter very easily. And I can use a little wheel at the top to rotate the polarizer. Um, all well and good. Let's give it a try with gloves on. With the basic MacWet gloves on, one-handed attachment, quite easy. Um, polarizer. Easy to use, easy to rotate. Graduated filter, okay to install, and I can still remove and rotate the polarizer. So, all well and good. Let's try the thicker filters. Thicker gloves, even. Okay, we'll start with the adapter. The catch is okay, I can hold it okay. It's just a little bit fiddly to grip. It is possible to use them, just got to be a bit more careful. Then grads in is okay. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more fiddly. Getting the polarizer out is quite hard, and that's with the grad in the, in the rear slot. I've put the graduated filter into the rear slot here. Can only just remove that and I'll probably need two hands to get it out. On top of that, rotating the polarizer is possible, a little bit fiddly. So not top mark for the hider. 
I would say, okay to use, and you could get used to it. Um, so despite there being a couple of usability issues, it's still a very good system. So we'll move on to the next system.